Now that must be really interesting. Be looking at that same page now for the past 10 minutes. It's called memorising the facts, kid. You never know when you might make a connection later on. No. No, it's called not doing your job. Every case we've ever worked on, it's been me. Detective Marcus Skinner. I was the one that cracked it. And maybe you can get off your ass for a change. <laughs> Why do I have to get Boy Wonder as a partner? Me and Davis got on much better. Yeah. Well, it's a damn shame that he went and got himself killed. But do not, even for one second, hold your breath on the same fate happened to me. Because I can assure you, I am here to stay. But what do you mean missing? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll call her right away. Thank you. Hi, hey, Maggie. It's uh, it's Marcus. Is uh, Johnny come home tonight? No. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm at first thing in the morning. Don't let you worry about it. Thank you. Good night. Bye. After that bastard didn't give me any information, I had to return to the one lead I had. I don't usually trust women, but this time, I had no choice. She moved elegantly. The smell of her perfume was enough to make any man fall at her knees, but not me. We need to talk, I said as she seductively ran her hand over my shoulder. I asked how she knew it was Tommy. She told me she had her sources, but that... Tell me what you know. That was when I realised I was chasing her voice all along. I drew my gun, but she pulled hers first. I was fucked. She explained what happened to my partner. She told me that my partner wanted an explanation. The whole idea of someone younger being better than him on a case like this was the cause of his own death. Fucking idiot. Apparently Jonathan arranged the release of Tommy from custody. The pair went back to the scene of the crime. Only John didn't know it was a trap. And everything was going well, till she appeared. She explained that getting coffin involved caused everything to become sloppy. You see, the fact that a woman was committing these murders here in Sanity City was the last thing a guy like me would expect, especially someone with upper-class standards. A city filled with thugs, murderers, thieves and rapists. Yet it's peculiar how when you think of a crime, a woman is never even considered. But that's when she told me. She told me it was her all along. After that, she told me to drop the gun and lay on the floor. <laughs> Usually I would purposely refuse, because I knew that no criminal would have the balls to kill me. However, this time, <laughs> I knew it was going to be different. Goodbye, detective. Those were the last words I heard when I laid there, staring down the barrel of that nan. You know, it's a strange feeling. I've always been the hunter and never been the hunted. However, here I am, this time 
it wasn't my turn to decide the fate of someone's life. He saved me. After everything I put that bastard through, he saved me. Don't mention it. I needed to get on my feet. After all, I'm in the clear. Another inbred case that had been solved here in Sanity City. But the way that I see it, is that you have a plan and stick to it. James Maybrick, Tommy Coffin, the bastard of a partner that was Johnny, and that bitch that tried to kill me. I didn't want my name added to a bunch of criminals like that. Even though seemingly close to me had their twist in their lives. And that, that's when it hit me. Her name. And if you knew that, you'd be as clever as me.